there's a couple songs that I'll bang to. <laughs> That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I meant like like these like bop my head like this is a good song. That's not what I meant. Hyper talkative. Oh God, Ruby. What's up, people? Hey. Welcome. Episode six. The curse of hyper talkative. Episode hyper talkative. Hyper talkative. I'm excited for episode seven because seven's my favorite number. But for now, seven we'll just... is your favorite number. Yeah. I don't know that I have a favorite number. You I know have what? two. I have two. What are they? Seven and eighty-five. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, tell me seven why. Seven because tell seven. Me <laughs> Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh-huh. Um, seven was my favorite age like or not my favorite age but it it, like sticks out to me for some reason because that's when I started listening to Queen and for some reason that just sticks out in my mind and then also Ben Roethlisberger's number seven Mm. and then 85 because whenever people would be like say a random number I would just say 85 85. so those are my two favorite numbers I my favorite number used to be six and then Mm. someone was like do you worship Satan and I was like (laughs) no and they were like then and why is your favorite number six? And so I just felt attacked since then. I never changed it. Maybe twelve. I like the number yeah. twelve. And that's six. That's six times two. So like, period. It's, it's subtle. Yeah. Nobody will know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think that's a good idea. Thank Anyways, you. this is episode. Six. <laughs> this is episode six. God, we're already off topic. I know. We're already welcome. Ranting. I hope you're having a great summer. Hags. <laughs> Hags. <laughs> Have a great summer. Anyways, uh, it took me so long to find out what that meant. People would write really? in my yearbook, and I'd be like. Oh, so rude. You're calling me a hag? <laughs> like an old hag, like an yeah, old lady. Literally. That's funny. Yeah. Hags means old lady. Ah, anyways. Anyways. We're already, it's already a mess. It's so already let's a mess. Just, let's just, let's just randomly kick it off. generate a word. Why hmm. don't we? Here we go. Acoustics. Okay. Acoustics. Acoustics. You know, we are in a very securely acousticated. Is that a word? No. Nope. Yeah. But you room said right it now. so confidently that you had me convinced. I was like, yeah, acoustica- acoustica- acousticated. Acoustic. You know, I think that we should actually talk about this as two people that host a podcast. Do you like podcasts? Because I don't. No. Like, I, I listen to one other podcast. The Harry Potter one? Yeah, yeah. it's called Potterheads. Potterheads. Oh. Oh. Potterless. I, I am a Potterhead. Well, I listen to two podcasts by the same guy, and it's mm. Potterless and then the newest Olympian, which is about Percy Jackson. Oh. So it's like the same Nerd vibe. Girl. I, You know, I, just listen to them. I tried to listen to, uh, not John Mulaney. He was on Bill it. Hater. It was No, I wish. It was. Oh, Will Arnett? Will, yeah, Will Arnett. Uh, going through Georgia's favorite oh. old men. Yeah, literally. Old. How Sorry, about middle older? aged. Yeah. Middle aged. Um, It's Will Arnett. Sean Hayes and you literally just listened to. I literally just listened. That's, I'm looking that's it up. really embarrassing. It's, <laughs> it's called Oh, it's Jason Bateman. Oh, it's Will God. Arnett, Sean Hayes, and Jason Bateman. It's called Smartless. I listened to like ten minutes of it the other day, and then I was like, I'm bored. And I told Ruby, I was like, maybe I'm biased, but I feel like ours is better. <laughs> We're actually entertaining. Yeah, oh, sorry, but I don't know. It, you know, it's really funny that we have a podcast we, as two people that just aren't podcast listeners but i also feel like you don't have to enjoy podcasts Mm -mm. to the best compliment i have received throughout our podcasting journey i know we've talked about this Mm -hmm. too is when people are like i don't listen to podcasts but i listen to yours because Mm -hmm. that's like like you're going like you're going out not out of your comfort zone but also like kind of out of your comfort zone yeah to like to listen to us, to listen to us and support it's us. So it, nice. just, it means so much. I'm getting so emotional. It really does. It really does. I, yeah, I really only listen to Potterless and it's like kind of to a point, like it's kind of unhealthy yeah. how much I listen. Like, cause backstory, <laughs> I, I'm one of the people, like, I, I like listening to something when I go to sleep. Sometimes I can be in okay. silence, but I don't know. Sometimes like rain sounds. Yeah, like I can do noises. rain. I used to listen to just like a fan sound on Spotify. Mm, like white noise. Yeah, like white noise. But then that, you know, I'm just going to bring everyone through the history of my sleeping habits. Okay. Why not? So <laughs> first off, it was the fan sounds. Mm. Um, Big, big fan dold is what it was called. And it's to this day still my number one listen to track on Spotify, which pisses Are you me serious? off. Because it <laughs> messed up. It messed up my Spotify rap so much. It's then, just like fan sounds. Then I went to the Charlie Brown Christmas album, which Banger. also messed up my Spotify wrapped because literally every single top song was Charlie Brown. Why don't you just do like private listening? Can you do that? Yeah. Oh. 
Does that not count on Spotify Wrapped? I don't think so. Because oh. you're like hiding the fact well, that you're listening to it. Well, it's fine now. Um, <laughs> so then I went to the Steelers Colts 2005 AFC playoff game, and I would listen to that every night as okay. I went to sleep, which was interesting because, you know, football's loud and, yeah. and exciting. And I have parts of the video like memorized, like the commentary yeah. that the people were making during it. Um, it's a great game, though, so go watch it. <laughs> and then I discovered Potterless. In Period. 2020, I can't believe it's been that long since my popular journey started. Ah. And I was like, wait, this is so funny. And it's a podcast that, like, I can listen to it in the day and, like, be interested. Mm-hmm. But I can listen to it at night. And it's, like, it's it's so weird because it doesn't bore me. Yeah. I, it's so interesting. But I pass out in, like, five minutes. You know, I feel that. I That will happen to me but with, like, TV shows. Yeah. And it's so frustrating. This... Jess is going to make fun of me because it used to happen all the time, like over the semester, mm-hmm. because I would sit, I would be in my room, like watching like Friends or New Girl or something yeah. on TV. And it got to the point where I would purposely have to put mindless TV on because like I couldn't put on the show that I was watching because yeah. I'd fall asleep and then I wouldn't yeah. know where I was. But I would turn it on at like midnight ish and then I just fall asleep and wake up at like 3 a.m. and be so confused. Like, where am I? What am I doing? And then I would like just crawl in bed and then I wake up in the morning and I'd be like, I don't remember going to sleep. And the one time. That's so unhealthy. The one time. No, I know it happens all the time. The one time I was I was taking a nap and I never take naps. I think I had gotten like two hours of sleep maybe, but I was eating cake. (laughs) And I was in, like, I was sitting on my bed, like, in my dorm, my door was open, and Jess was at class, and I was eating cake, and I fell asleep while I was eating oh, cake, no. so Jess came in, and she, like, got back from class and was, like, gonna say hi, and I was just, like, passed out with cake next to me, <laughs> and then I, like, woke up, and I was, like, sorry, I, like, took a nap, and she's, like, yeah, I just saw you with an open container of cake and, like, a fork, and I was, like, uh, and I just went in my room, and I was, like, that's College embarrassing. Lows. I wish she would have taken a picture. College that been, lows. Yeah, that's how yeah. it is. Yeah. Oh, my. That reminds me, over last summer, it was, like, last summer was a rough rough time for me. Okay. I was dealing with a lot of anxiety, mm. and I was starting medication, so I, like, felt sick all the time, yeah. and then my anxiety would make me feel sick. And for just those, like, I just, I just, I hate feeling sick. Like, yeah. I hate feeling, like, nauseous and stuff. Absolutely. So I would get super, like, freaked out and just, like, shaky and nauseous and, like, gross mm-hmm. feeling. And literally, the only thing that could calm me down was New Girl. Yes. So what would happen is I would go to bed, but I could not, like, I would wake up so much throughout mm-hmm. the night. Don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm doing better now. She's here. But um, I would wake up at like three in the morning about to throw up oh, and I would Ruby. get pretzels and and I would sit in my bed with pretzels, sometimes apples the as well. The gluten free pretzels? Before it was just it was just regular pretzels at that oh, time. Oh, this was before. Yeah. Okay, okay. And I would watch New Girl and I'd watch like four episodes and then pass out to it. And it's the only thing yeah. that could calm me down. So now anytime I feel like sick and like shaky and gross, New Girl, also Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but New Girl especially. It's just a comfort show. It is. It's just a good show, and I think there's something about, like, knowing what's going to happen in a TV show yeah. that's also very comforting. So, like, that's why I feel like I rewatch the same shows over and over exactly. is because, like, I'm content knowing what's going to happen. And, like, also, if you do fall asleep, it's fine. Yes. Because you've watched it already. Exactly. You know what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of lows, since we both just kind of went over our low points in life. Yes. Do you have any other... Low points. You know what are... low point we should talk about? What? Theory of calm. You know, we should talk about oh, theory of calm. Guys, Ruby and I <sighs> we took this class, calm two oh two oh literally a two hundred level course. Literally a two hundred level course, which means it shouldn't be hard, it but it was no hell. Right. It was so bad. It was me, Ruby, and our friend Liam. Shout, Shout out, out Liam. Liam. It we died. First it of was all, so bad. It was so much work. And it was literally like this big textbook with tiny ass font mm-hmm. and we had to read the class was yeah. twice a week, mm-hmm. and we we had to read two chapters before each class. Yeah, and do two discussion posts and two quizzes, all due on one day, yes. and then two more due the next class. Yes, which if you're thinking right now, like, oh, come on, that doesn't sound no. too bad. You're wrong. They were like four paragraph discussion posts. Yes. The quizzes were like 30 questions. It was horrible, and they were all like communication theories, Yeah, which I feel like... Had they not been shoved down my throat, I would have enjoyed them. Same. Like, they're interesting. Yeah, but, like, I despised it. It was so bad. And, and our professor, God bless oh, her. You know, she's a she sweet woman. She is a sweet woman. 
terrible teacher. Yes. I couldn't do it. But Awful. this one time, this one time, I'm a child and yes. I am so clumsy oh. and I spill stuff on my on myself all the freaking time. Okay, and this was the week that Ruby was in Vegas. I know, I'm so mad. So I, I was there. all out of sorts. And I think Liam had skipped class. So it yep. was literally just me. And I had, so I had like a class before Theory of Calm. And we got out of that class early. So I went to Starbucks and I got an iced coffee. And <laughs> I literally, I don't know what my issue was. I spilled it on myself like 80 times. <laughs> it was all over my pants. And I had worn like tan <laughs> pants all over my shirt. And then it was like all over my desk. And it was like, oh my peeing. Like it wasn't peeing, but like it was dripping. like, yeah. It was peeing. Like, you know how like when you have a cold drink in a hot area, oh, it was like sweating and it was literally like sliding around my desk. Yeah, I, I hate was like, when they do this that. is horrible. Oh. And the class is like an hour and 15, I think. So just this entire class, I was like spilling stuff on myself. And then <laughs> after class was over, I stayed in that room because we had a new TV mm-hmm. meeting. And she was in there for a little bit, and it was just me and her. And then our, like, Tommy and Allie, like, our mm-hmm. TV friends came in. And I was, like, talking about how I kept spilling coffee on myself. Mm-hmm. And I still had some left. And she was like, Georgia, do you want a straw? And I was like, actually, yes. And she was like, come to my office. Like, I have a ton. I was like, oh I love gosh. this woman. So I literally, like, she got her stuff and we, like, went down in her office. <laughs> she pulled out this, like, Ziploc bag of just crusty, loose, crusty, loose straws. And I was like, yeah, okay. Grabbed one, used it, didn't spill coffee on myself. Oh, like, my God. When when I, when I you texted me or when I saw on your story yeah. or whatever, I was losing <laughs> literally my Literally a fever shit. dream. And she, her <laughs> office was, like, so, like disorganized and that's just like her class it was so on brand i was like i'm gonna get a disease or something i didn't though yep she survived i thought of a low point you said vegas i said shit oh no guys ruby has been waiting to tell this story i have been dying to find a way to fit this story in now i'm not gonna name any names because i you know the party in question i'm i know hard feelings so i'm gonna Absolutely. i'm gonna have code names i'm gonna say katie mm. and samantha okay <laughs> those are our those are our names those are the characters yeah keep up so as everyone knows because i don't shut up about it i was in las vegas a couple weeks ago for influencer, a influencer she's girl, famous let's for go a, <laughs> for a broadcasting conference and i didn't know anybody there some of my professors were there for like a conference I was going on at the same time but like I was on my own Mm -hmm. and I got paired up with Katie her name uh to work on like the jobs that we had for the week so basically our role for the week is we just had to like film stuff whatever that's not important to the story so me and Katie got really close throughout the week and Katie had a friend Samantha Mm -hmm. who was from her college as well who was doing a different role at the conference but she was also there Mm -hmm. so I got to know Samantha a little bit um, not as well as Katie because we spent like every single day together but and, still, and yeah. but still like acquaintances, yes. whatever. And so they were all leaving Wednesday night and I was leaving Thursday morning because so that she could see Michael Buble. Yes. <laughs> I yes, he was so good. Um but we had to check out of the hotel early, so I was like, Oh, you guys can just leave your stuff in my room. Like I have the room for an extra night so they didn't have to leave their stuff like behind the desk and worry about getting Very it. Very kind room. I know. I was like, I got you. Like it'll be it'll be great. Mm-hmm. So I had two room keys, so I just gave them my extra room key because I was gonna be at the Michael Buble concert when right. they needed to get their stuff. And I go to the concert. I have a great time. They get their stuff and leave. I mean, they didn't really, like, text me, but I just assumed. Mm -hmm. And I come back to my room. Here's a little (laughs) just information that you should know. I had to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning to catch my flight. It was a very early morning flight. Just keep that in mind that I had to be up at 2 in the morning. I get back to my hotel around 1030 at night. I walk in, and I first thing I notice is the bathroom door is shut. And I'm like, okay. I never close it, Mm -hmm. but it's whatever. And this bathroom hotel was beautiful. It had a shower with a rain head. I was loving life. All I wanted. (laughs) Great lighting. It really did. It really did. (laughs) All I wanted was just a nice hot shower on my last Mm. night, get into bed and fall asleep. Absolutely. I open the door to the bathroom and my (laughs) toilet is full of shit. Full of to the brim <laughs> oh god of shit there it is poop and toilet paper <laughs> i should have taken a picture so that, Ew, but no, like you shouldn't i have. didn't want to but no everyone way. keeps asking they're like can we see and i'm like why would i take a picture but like when i tell you it Freaks. was so full 
Ew. It wasn't just like a little, like yeah. it was full, like it looked clogged. Oh, and God. I was like, what the actual <laughs> fuck? Like, <laughs> who did this? I can think of two people that were in my room. But yeah. I was like, Katie would never do that. Like, mm-hmm. she wouldn't just leave her shit. And like, I didn't think it was out of like ill intent. Right. But also I was like, they didn't tell me it's anything. It's just kind of a respect thing. Like, even exactly. if that did happen, just be like, hey, Ruby, I, I clog- shit in your toilet. <laughs> I, or, yeah, I shit in your toilet. Yeah. So... I text Katie and I'm like, I just walked into my room and my toilet is full of shit. And she was like, oh my God, what? Like she was at the airport and she was like, that must have been Samantha. I'm so sorry. Mm. Like she went into the bathroom and then came out and was like, okay, are you ready to go? And just didn't say anything. And I was like, what the heck? So I'm like fuming. Katie is fuming. We're both pissed off at Samantha. I don't have her phone number, so I can't be like, what the heck? And so it's 10 30 at night. I call housekeeping i'm like hey somebody clogged my toilet can you come up and fix it and they Mm -hmm. were like yeah sure we'll send someone up so i'm just sitting in there can't take my hot shower trying to scarf down dinner because Mm. i'm starving but like what were you eating i was eating a turkey ranch turkey bacon ranch wrap was it good it was good but like it's hard to eat food when there's a toilet full of shit right next to you and your room (laughs) smells like poop an hour goes by no housekeeping yet i'm losing hope how am I going to shower? Yeah. How am I going to brush my teeth? What's going to happen? How are you going to live? Me? How am I going to live? Breathe, function. You exactly. can't do any of that. At this point, I'm losing hope. Samantha texted me. She got my phone number and texted okay. me and was like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Don't drink alcohol. And I was like, it's fine, but also this is turning into an overnight thing to deal with. Yeah. And I have to get up at two in the morning. She's like, can I make it up to you? Can I mail you cookies? I was like, bitch, what no. the no. No, you can't. No, I did not reply. Did she text. ever send you cookies? No. Bruh. I mean, I didn't send her my address, so I would be kind of nervous. She, if she should did. have just Venmoed you money and been like... True. For your emotional damage. Yeah. But anyways, so it gets to 12 o'clock and I'm like, I have to be up in two hours. Like, I mm. need to just go to sleep. I'll, I'm will i just... I've, I've accepted the fact that I'm not going to take a hot shower. Yeah. I just have to get in bed and, and not pee. <sighs> but then I'm like... Fuck, I have to pee. So I walk all the way downstairs through the casino, oh past all the gosh. drunk people. I go pee in the public bathroom. I go all the way past the drunk people again through the casino, back up to my room. I'm about to get in bed. 12 o'clock. I hear a knock on the door. Stop. And guess who it is? Housekeeping. Bro, two, like one and a half hours I late. I know. I was like, sir, he walks in. He definitely did not think that it was a friend that shit in my toilet. He definitely thinks I was making an excuse. Probably, but you know. And I was like, you know again. what? Whatever. He goes in, flushes it, walks right back out. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, it wasn't clogged. Whoever did that <laughs> just didn't flush. Oh my god. Which is god. even worse because oh my. If it got clogged, yeah. okay, but she just didn't even she flush. She just didn't flush. She just what? took a dump and then just left what? it. What? Didn't even try. Okay, that to me right? is like ill intent. I know. Like, why do you just not flush the? T- I know. I'm trying to make sense of this. I'm trying to de- to defend Samantha here, but, but I but I can't. I can't. I was like, "Are you serious?" And he looked at me and he said, "You know what? Shit happens." And then he walked so out. So true, man. And I was like, "It is 12 o'clock. I That's have to be up in two dream. hours." It truly was. That's li- and like the, the way that it all wrapped up with him saying shit happens. I know. That is a fever I was dream. like, "Sir." So I get in bed. I'm like. Oh. I have two hours of sleep. At one oh. o'clock in the morning, I wake up to my phone ringing, the hotel room phone. It's the hotel saying, just wanted to make sure somebody came to fix your toilet. Yeah, they did. Two hours late. Thank you. Bye. Like, Let me sleep. Also, I need to be up in an hour and now you broke my REM cycle. Ugh. Oh my God. It was a mess. Sorry for that really long story. But honestly, no, it, was worth, it was such it was a low. The tale. It was such a low. That is a low. I made it though. I made it home. Mm-hmm. The next day was so rough. You slept. Have you ever been out of the country? No. Thinking of jet lag. Have you ever been in a different like time zone? No. Oh my god. Ruby, gosh, I'm so Georgia. lame. That's so I know. Oh. But I'm gonna I wanna travel like when I graduate. Like I'm just gonna disappear. I'll go with you. Okay. Hyper no, talking on the road. Unironically, yeah. Hopefully by that time we're famous and we'll have a tour. Yes. Oh my god. I, I've been to Italy. Yeah, you talked about that oh, on wait, the first episode. Oh wait, I forgot I talked about it on the first episode. I've I wanna also, go to Italy so bad. We need to go. I want to go to London as well. I want to go to London too. I need to visit my boyfriend. Tom Holland. Yeah. You didn't get me that time. You almost (laughs) pranked me, but you didn't. He's in New York, I think, right now. He's filming a TV show. He has long hair. His hair. hair. It's so cute. (laughs) If you don't think Tom Holland looks better with long hair, leave. Sorry. Stop listening. Sorry. Still follow us? Yeah, but... 
but you can leave. Uh-huh. His curls are so good. I know. His curls are so I'm, good. I'm a slut for a boy with curls. You know. You got Tom Holland, you got Timothy Chalamet. It's kind of problematic because that was like the only guys I would look at. Mm. Like Joshua Bassett. Oh my oh gosh. My, when yes. High School Musical, the musical, the series came out, yes. I literally. Like, I, it was so embarrassing. In love. I could only watch it once because I fell so in love with him. Like, <laughs> if I watched it again, I was like, I'm going to go you through emotional angry. damage. Yeah. Like, it It was so, oh, it's the what curly is your hair. Take, what is your take on the Joshua Bassett, Olivia Rodrigo Ooh, situation? Oh, good topic. Thank you. Thank you. I, you know, at first, when Driver's License came out, I was like, this song is a banger. Yeah. Now Which she it is. is. It is a banger. And she has okay music. I was really disappointed by her album because it was like the really good songs were the singles and yes. then the rest were just kind of mid. Yes. They were just all slow and I depressing. I said that and everyone was like, no, it's no. not. No. Yeah. Um, I don't really like her anymore. Same. She kind of annoys Same. me. Same. I'm also- This is a hot take. I'm a Joshua Bassett yep. stan. Yep. I don't really listen to him, but one of my favorite artists is going on tour with him, Lindsay oh, Lomas. Yeah. I just saw he And I'm like, tour. should we go? Yeah, we should. Um, <laughs> But I think that the biggest thing is that all of his health issues. Yes. Every, he was getting He was bullied. in the hospital. He was in the hospital. Yeah. The amount of hate that he yes. got. And she said nothing. She's, that is the biggest thing for me. Nothing. I don't care, like, whatever sort of past you guys have. Like, if you were coming out and you're writing a song that people think is about Joshua Bassett. And it's Bassett, obviously about him. Yes. Like, like, and he is quite literally in the hospital. People are threatening him to the point where, like, his mental health yeah. is being affected. Like, it's like, you need to speak out and be like, stop. Yeah, I know. The fact that, that she didn't that say me anything. Off. That pissed me off. And Serena Carpenter, she also annoys me. Yeah, same. I uh, I think that, I mean, when that first happened, everyone was like, it's a publicity stunt. And I was like, maybe it is. You know, I could see that being true. But I also, I just feel like people, and this is ironic for me to say, I feel like people get too involved in celebrities' lives. Like, yeah. going to the point that you're going to threaten Joshua yeah, Bassett like, because that's ridiculous. Like, they broke up. Like, you do not know anything about their no. lives. Also, you don't owe Olivia anything. Yes. It's not like you guys are best friends yes. and go way back. I also just think it's, like, kind of tasteless for her to kind of drag him like that. In every single song. In every single because song. I think she... I think she... No, she's she, not dating someone else. She there was. were rumors. Some old, but like, older guy. Besides Joshua... Like, everyone yes. knows that everything is about him. Yes. And, and it's just, like... And to mention the blonde girl, yeah. who is obviously Sabrina. Ugh. Like, it just pisses me yeah. off. Sorry, this... Is, guys, we're just getting heated today. We are. But it's fine. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to let out your rage. I wonder... I. This is an Olivia Rodrigo me, hate account. To, Sorry, not me, actually. To me, this is like the unpopular opinion. Like, I feel like everyone sides with Olivia I agree. Rodrigo. And I, you know, I enjoyed her album when it came out. It was good, but it's like... I have not listened to it one time since the week it came really? out. It's just like, it's just fine. Yeah. I listened to the hits. I listened to Good For You yes. and Deja Vu and Driver's License. Those are the best ones. The yeah. rest are kind of just like... Mm. I like... um. Also, I got sick of all of them because they were on TikTok 24-7. I need to look at them. So now. that really bugged me. But when Joshua Bassett released Lies, I think it was called right after. You've been lying to yourself. I love that song. I, his, my opinion, his album's better than Olivia's. He's so good. He's so good. He's, and he's so cute. He's so cute. What song is it? Oh, I like Happier. Wait, no, I don't. What's the one that's like, you bit Traitor. I like oh, Traitor. Traitor. I do like that one. Traitor's good. But I like, I honestly like Joshua Bassett's album better. Sorry. And honestly... I don't, I don't really love Sabrina Carpenter's music, but she has one song. What's it called? Alien, I think. That I like. I have no idea. I don't really listen to her. Yeah, I kind of forget about her. I listened to her Did one you... song that was that she released at the same time as like Olivia and Josh. Yeah, and I, I listened like, to Girl, it. Girl, stay I, out of this. Yeah. Did you watch Girl Meets World? Kind of. That mm. show was weird. It was so. We- My sister and her friend were like really, 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 really into really? it. So I watched it. But it's weird. I just don't like... What's the it's actress's icky, name? Not Ro- Sabrina, but the other Rowan one. Rowan Bland? Yeah, yeah. I just don't like her acting style. I'm no. just like, you're trying too hard to be like The whole quirky. show was just too dramatic. It's just cringe. For, like, yeah, yeah, it was really... But that one guy was cute. Yeah. But did you hear what... Wait. Did you hear what happened to him? No. <laughs> His sex tape got like <gasps> released. Oh, yes, I did see that. And I was like... Oh. Damn. When Lucas, you're, when you're yeah, Lucas, when oh. you're a celebrity like that, like you, you gotta be careful. Dog. But I mean, hey, it worked for Kim K. Oh, because isn't that? How wait, she- wait, wait. What's your take on Kim K and Pete? Okay. I need to know, guys. Unpopular opinion, but I love them. I was afraid you were going I, to say that. No, and at first I was like, mm, 
mm, what the heck? And like, I'm not that invested. Like, I I don't give my time of day to the Kardashians. Yeah. I've never watched the show. Like, I could not care less about mm-hmm. them. Um, but I think that things that I've seen lately, she looks happier than she has ever yeah. looked. And I've seen videos of them to get like they just seem she, so happy and she deserves it because Kanye is a piece of shit and is, she deserves to be happy. He is better than Kanye, I will say, but I just despise Pete Davidson. I think he's a green bean. I think he's not he funny. He is yeah. And he's just like strange looking. He's definitely a type. I don't get how people find him but attractive. He's not my type. No. 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 I on SNL I'm just like okay okay I liked him on SNL when he was with Timothy Chalamet that was funny when he did yeet, the, yeet, yeet, skirt. that yeah, was funny that was funny that but was funny. I just like I don't like him and like him and Kim Kim K I'm just like it's a very Ow. weird <laughs> <laughs> noise <laughs> it's just You're odd uh, it is really weird but if they're in love like whatever exactly do I think he will be a good father to her children. I don't know about that. We don't have, you know, that's too far. It's too stretch. I also forgot that him and Ariana Grande were like... Yeah. Were they like... Were they engaged? They were, no. And to Pete, I'm so thankful. But yeah, even almost got married. married. Yeah. And to Pete, I'm so thankful. Yeah, because she's married Wish now. I could say thank you to Malcolm. Rest in peace, Because he was Miller. an angel. Do you like Ariana Grande's music? No. Re- <gasps> I like... Really? Okay, I don't love her music i like her music i there's a couple songs that i'll bang to (laughs) (laughs) that's not what i meant that's not what i meant i meant like like these like bop my head like this is a good song that's not what i meant georgia (laughs) oh my god i didn't mean it like that i didn't mean it like that i'm gonna start crying i meant like head bang bop they're bangers i meant bop okay stop I'm never gonna come back from this one. Oh. First, it's like I put everything in my mouth. Yeah, and then it's, it's, I'd, it was actually sorry. I'd put anything in my sorry, mouth. Sorry, Thanks. Sorry. Oh my god. Anyways, <laughs> so like, uh, let's just go to my like songs. I while you go there, I will talk. I love Ariana Grande. I did not love her most recent album. I like her older albums better, but I saw her live in like 2015. Like I've liked her since the OG era. Like okay. her first. Big single was Put Your Hearts Up, and I've loved her since then. Mm. I am a Ariana Grande stan. Okay. Period. An Ariana-nator. I like her album Sweetener. I like the song Successful and Sweetener, and mm. I like her song, the popular song. Oh, yeah. That, that, that was cute. I was, was like, cute. obsessed with that in middle school because it's based on, it's if from, it, it's based on a yeah. song from Wicked, mm-hmm. and I just, like, liked it a lot. Theater Kid. It's fine. Okay, and I, I, I'm not hating. I'm not hating because I loved that song also growing up. Yeah, it's a it's a banger. It really is. It, and the music video I like loved. Yeah, it's they a were banger. like vampires. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Ruby. Shut up. I as soon as I said that, I was like, someone's gonna laugh at that. We somewhere. are going to make that a sound bite and just constantly play. <laughs> oh god. I'm trying to think of like other embarrassing mishaps like that, like word mishaps. Oh, well, I have a funny one. It's not embarrassing. I, God. So my grandma was visiting mm-hmm. um, from Kentucky years ago, and she is, she's wild. She's, she's Southern. I love her. You never met her. I don't care. Oh. I love her. Okay. Hey, grandma. I don't think you're listening to this, but <laughs> if you are. But anyways, so grandma is just a lot sometimes. Aren't we all? And I'm a lot sometimes. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when two people that are a lot interact with each other you can butt heads and i happened to be very angry at my grandma i don't remember what for she was just really making me angry Mm. and she went out to the driveway because they would always bring their camper up and they would like sleep in the camper in the driveway Mm -hmm. we did offer them rooms by the way they chose to sleep in the camper fair enough put that out there and i turned to my mom and i'm like man mom grandma is really tickling my ivories right now and I thought that tickling my ivories meant making me mad. No, it that means playing, playing the, the piano. piano. I know. Suzanne looked at me and was like, "She's what? playing your piano." I was like, "What do you mean?" Um, so that was a really funny one. So now, whenever somebody makes me mad, I'm like, "Oh, they're tickling my ivories." That's funny. Yeah, I'm start and it's like an that. inside joke thing. Let's make it a thing. Okay. Who cares about playing the piano anymore? Let's make it a thing. <laughs> one thing that I do. I want to say that I did, but I it still happens, yeah. is I often will not get celebrities, like, confused. Okay, well, actually, I do get celebrities confused. But I will just not know 
the full range of the celebrity. Here's okay. here's an example. Yeah, please. So Childish Gambino mm-hmm. uh, is Donald Glover. Yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you, oh. <laughs> and <laughs> you know, I listen to Childish Gambino. Mm-hmm. Whatever. You know, I st- saw him on like the album cover mm-hmm. of I think it's three oh five. Yeah. Where it's like three thousand and five. Yeah. That's what I meant. But it's the picture of him. So I like knew who he was. Yeah. I listened to his music, and I watched uh, <laughs> Community. I, yeah, I watched Community, and I watched Spider Man Homecoming. Right, I forgot he's in that. He's in that, but I didn't realize that that was him. <laughs> I didn't realize it was the same person. And this one time, I was stalking Tom Holland on Instagram, and it was a picture of him and Don Glover. And I clicked on the tags, and it said Childish Gambino, and I was like, What? what? And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I, like, flipped shit. And I was, like, texting my friends. I was like, did you know that Childish Gambino oh and Donald Glover are the same person? They are like, yes, Everyone Georgia. Knows. That's common knowledge. And I was oh. like, uh. So that was a thing that I was clowned for for a little. Another thing. <sighs> this one's bad. I thought that Al Pacino and Al Capone <laughs> were the same. <laughs> And I was, like, watching a movie trailer, and it said, like, Al Pacino. And I was like, oh, my God, good for him. Like, he got out of the life of crime. Stop. (laughs) Because I used to, like, read. Stop. I used to, like, read the Al Capone Does My Shirts books. And he's, like, a fucking, he's a criminal. He was in jail. He's also very dead. He has been (laughs) dead for a while. He does not have an acting career. I just, like, my issue is I just, like. I'm I'm naive, if you will, and I just I think things and I just assume they're right. If you tell have, me something, I have two examples too. Yeah, yeah. My gullibility, it just I'm I trust people too yeah. much, and I just like I don't think past things. Yeah. So like obviously I knew that Al Capone and Al Pacino were not the same. Like deep down I knew that. But like, but like surface, like yeah. I was like, yeah. Oh, they're the same. He's not. That's like he's an actor. So now. the one thing when it was announced that J Lo and Ben Affleck were getting back together, mm. I have no clue who Ben Affleck is and I all I could picture I was like that's Adam Sandler <laughs> <laughs> that's all I could picture really? I was like they are the same so I would think Ben okay. Affleck but I would see Adam Sandler yeah. and Adam Sandler himself just didn't exist I guess to me <laughs> and I was like J-Lo was with him like come on okay J-Lo. J-Lo like you could do a little bit better yeah and I still get it confused the other thing I get confused I cannot tell the Jimmys apart. Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon. You have told me about this before. It's a problem. If you show me a picture <laughs> of one, I literally cannot tell you which one it is because that's inch. They don't look similar. I know, I know. <laughs> and it was similar. A similar thing happened to me in school growing up. Uh-oh. There were these two Brads. Brad, <laughs> should I name drop? I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Neither of them are listening to this. Brad Atkinson and Brad Pop, and I. I wasn't really friends with either of them. They were both just like average white guys with brown hair. Typical Brad. I could not tell them apart to save my really? life. And the one Brad, I'm not going to name which one, but the one Brad notoriously did not like me. And well, I, I literally. I wonder why. I wonder know who if he was. it was because I couldn't tell which Probably. one he was. Probably. I don't know what it is. You know, if they're white guys with brown hair and the same first name, I can't tell you yeah. apart. I can't tell you apart. And that's concerning. At least they had the same name. You know, at least, like, you yeah. were like, oh, Ben Affleck Steven. and Adam Sandler. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that's a little bit bad. Look, you know what? His name sounds, Ben Affleck, it just sounds like, mm, like, kind of crusty. Like yeah. Adam Sandler. And Adam Sandler is crusty. And like Do you Will like Ferrell? Adam Sandler? Unpopular opinion. I don't like I Adam despise Sandler. Him. I don't like Will Ferrell. Yep. Will Ferrell, I think no. I will let slide. And that other Adam guy, Sandler. the other guy in Step Brothers with him, I don't even know oh, his name. Oh yeah, can't not stand fun. him either. Those kind of movies to me They're are not, not funny. funny. No, I don't find them funny at me all. Me neither. And that this like is so... weird, like it's like men humor. Like it I is. hate to say that, no. but it's men humor. And I don't like so it. I'm so glad we're saying yep. this because. I feel like we're in the minority there. Yes, we are. Like Step Brothers, I've never seen it, but I just know I don't like it. Yeah, I Anchorman, only... never no, s- no, no, it's not funny. I only like. I like Adam Sandler in Fifty First Dates. That is yeah, it. That's it. I like Will that Ferrell in Elf, and I like him in Eurovision, which is like a Netflix movie. Very, My sister and I are obsessed with that. Very unpopular opinion. I don't like Elf. Okay. I think it is overrated. I'm not gonna slam I you for that. I think that there are so many better Christmas movies. Yeah, I agree. I think it's annoying. I yeah. think that he's annoying. I think that Buddy the Elf but is Zoe annoying. But Zoe Deschanel is in it. I always fucking forget it's her anyways. <laughs> True. So it doesn't She's even like do anything for me. Yeah. What's your favorite Christmas movie? We'll end on this because we've been chatting for a while. But what's your favorite Christmas movie? Mm. 
I don't. Let me. I'm think. passionate. What's yours? I think you have one locked and loaded. I so do. I can first. give you my top three. Okay. Number one, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Oh my God! You're just Literally like my dad and my brother. The best movie. I can watch it year round. Yeah. I think it is the funniest movie. Everything about it. You can hilarious. watch it with my family because okay. they're the same way. I will. Also, I love Charlie Brown Christmas. Obviously, yes. just that's because just a classic. I have to. Yeah. Um, and I love a Christmas Story because that's another classic. You Interesting. Don't like that one? I think it's overplayed. Yeah, it's just like a tradition for My uncle for really us. hates it. Really? Yeah, he despises it. It's kind of funny. That's so funny. I think it's a good movie, though. Oh, and The Polar Express. I the- love it. Oh! You don't like the... Are you one of those people that get freaked out by the I'm animation? I'm terrified no! by The Polar Express, Ruby. I am so scared. I don't get it. Tom Hanks, I think, freaks me out. I'm starting I, to realize. What? I love and Tom I Hanks. Just, I feel like everyone in that movie looks like a variant of Tom because Hanks. Because it is. He does, like, all the voices. It freaks me out. You don't like Tom Hanks? No. Well, okay. I, he's, like, fine. When I found out he I had just COVID he when it started, me. I cried. I Why? love that man. He's one of my favorite actors. That's, I haven't seen him in that He much, scares me, like, if I'm going to be honest. What? It's it's definitely irrational, but, like, I think it stems from the Polar Express. That movie freaks me out. What? I don't I know. I love the Polar Oh. I also, I'm going to add two more. I love Love Actually. <laughs> okay, yes. Love it. Yes, And yes. also there's one that's like not as popular, which you need to watch it if you haven't seen it. Love okay. the Coopers. I haven't, it but I've heard so of that. It is so good. Marissa to- Melissa Toma- Toma- Marissa Tomai from she's Spider-Man. She's in it. Queen. Look, the cast is stacked. Timothy Chalamet is in it. Uh, Amanda wait, Seyfried wait. is in it. My One of my best friends from home, Hannah, she has I'm seen, she loves it. Timothy Chalamet, and she has watched every single movie he's in, and she showed me scenes from that. Yeah, my mom That's has watched it, it literally 50 times. I've yeah. watched it 50 times. Olivia Wilde is in it. Yes. Uh, the cast is so okay, good. Okay, I'll watch We're it with Hannah. Watch. Or, yeah. Uh, we will watch it with Hannah. Yeah, okay. No, Anyways, stop. Anyways, say your favorite movie, I guess. <laughs> no, stop. What is I don't it? know. Okay, I really like The Grinch. Okay, like the live the, action or the yes, cartoon? The li- well, both. I've but never I like seen the-, the live action. What? I know. I oh know. Oh my god! Wait, can we watch it? Yes. Yes. Christmas in July. Actually, marathon. Unironically, yes. Yeah. Okay, it's happening. The Grinch. <gasps> so much love is the coming Coopers. to my head. And also, yes. Polar Express. The mm, no, nope, sorry. I'll watch the Polar Express with you, and okay. I'll show you that it's actually a horror movie. It's not. But, okay. but there's also a movie on Netflix. I don't know if you've seen it. It's called The Christmas Chronicles. It has no. Kurt Russell. It's so good. My sister and I are I like there's I two of them. You've definitely seen it advertised. Oh, it's newer. I remember when it was really yes. popular. Yep. yep my yep, sister yep. and I and like my entire family were like obsessed with those movies. We're also just like obsessed Goofy. with Kurt Russell because yeah. he's like funny. And he was in like some fire movie, so my dad likes uh, him. So we watch it every year. Oh my God, Great I have to movie. Watch it. I, Add that to the Christmas in July list. Boom. And last thing is the Glee Christmas episode from season two. Okay. Okay. So good. Yes. So good. Yes. When they sing, need a little no Christmas. That's and on my Christmas playlist. Same. Christmas, yeah. And also, when they go and they sing the song from the Grinch, the ha, da, da, Yes. Da, and it gives me chills every time. They're so and, good. And Kurt and Blaine do Baby It's Cold oh Outside. Oh my God, I know. It's such I love a good Blaine. Episode. I don't like Kurt, but I love no, you, Blaine. Blaine. Blaine's Santa account. On that note. What a fantastic way to end the episode. Merry Christmas, Merry everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> We started with acoustics and we ended on Christmas movies. Yes. Wow. That's a good one. We we hit a lot. I had, I, that, that was a good. I'm feeling pretty confident about this discussion here today. I am. This felt very like Socratic. Yes. It felt very wow. intelligent of us. Socratic is the best way to describe that because we. I just feel like we really bounced off each other's ideas this episode. And we. We, we said was, some hot takes. It was less like just stupid funny things, yes. which we love talking about. We dove deep. And we listened to each other's opinions. We did. We built on each other, which we always do. But we, I think in this episode, really it just built. it hit different. It did. I hope that you guys agree. Yeah. We really do. I also do. I always. I feel like I always say this at the end of episodes, but I genuinely want to know, like your takes on the stuff we talk yeah. about. How do you feel about Olivia Rodrigo? How do you feel about Adam Sandler? What's your favorite Christmas movie? What's your favorite Christmas movie? Please tell us. Interact. We How love you guys. How would you react if you walked into your hotel room after a Michael Bublé concert <laughs> to a toilet, toilet full of shit there by Samantha? Is. If anyone says they'd be like thrilled about that, you can unfollow us. You can, yeah. But if you want to follow us, you can do so. Here is how you do so. At Hypertalkative Podcast on Instagram and TikTok. At Hypertalkative on Twitter. And you can go to our website, hypertalkativepodcast.com. Yeah. 
also our link tree, which is in all of our bios, has links to everything else. So you can yes. just go down a link, hyper talkative rabbit hole, yes. and just go to everything. Yep. And go stalk listen, us. Stream, leave comments, review, start yes. rumors. Repost. Repost. <laughs> start rumors. Please. We just want some press. Leave some. Did you say leave a review? Yeah. Okay. Send it to your friends, your yes. family, your dogs, your cats. Make everyone you know listen to it. If any of you are in contact with any of the actors slash musicians slash actresses that, that we talk we about, mentioned. please tell them so they can be on the podcast. Yes. Mandy Samberg. <coughs> Joshua Bassett. Mike Schubert, who is the host of my favorite podcast. If you're listening, oh, I yeah. would love to have you. I forgot you. that we talked about that. We should actually do that. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for- Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Bye. Peace be with you. And with you. <laughs> Hyper Talkative Podcast is brought to you by us. Just us. Unless you want to sponsor us. Wink, wink. Hyper Talkative is recorded at the Candy Factory Co-working and Social Club in downtown Lancaster. Our theme music was done by help from Johnny Jed Music, and the show is recorded, edited, and published by Georgia Hall and Ruby Mundock. Mm-hmm.